Hi, this is Renu Anjuran from Sophist, and I'm going to go through an overview of the requirements related to the batteries as explained in this IEC uh, 62368-1 standard, which applies to IT products and audio video products. And this is sort of a supplement to my previous videos about this standard. So a quick disclaimer, it's only a high level overview of the requirements, okay? We're not lawyers, we're not compliance consultants. So when we talk about batteries, especially lithium batteries, a lot of people think of the Galaxy Note 7. This is a quick Google search for images and you can see there were a lot of disastrous um, fires or explosions or both, right? And th this is a, a product that falls under the scope of the IEC 62368-1 standard. Right, but this is just one example. There could be many others, but this one was very high level. Okay, so first the standard define what is a battery is basically what we usually call a battery pack. Okay, it might have one or several cells. The cells are called cells. When they talk about battery, is the entire pack. Okay, and then there are coin or button cell batteries, and we'll get back to that at the end of the video. First, a few basic concepts. Okay, if there's a very low energy, it's safer, right? This standard is all about safety. So it's, it's safer if there's very low energy. If there's a lot of electrochemical energy, very dense, that can be, um, that can lead to, to a fire, explosion, that is very dangerous. Okay, harmful chemicals also. Right, uh, if uh, certain chemicals leak and, and get in contact with um, with people's hands, for example, and so on, uh, it can be um, pretty dangerous. Okay, and lithium batteries, lithium batteries are inherently riskier because their discharge is very fast, and specifically for lithium batteries. Uh, there's a specific standard, we'll get back to that also, and also uh, there's a serious risk of fire and they need an enclosure that uh, complies at least with V1, uh, flammability, okay? It cannot be less than, than V1, it cannot be very uh, flammable, right? It has to be non-combustible, right? Typically, um, this is a concern for plastic enclosures okay so uh, this is one of the safeguards that's very important for lithium batteries a few other basic concepts for, so as i mentioned uh, there are some relevant iec standards specifically for batteries right so 62133-1-2 which is for lithium and then there's a number of them and i'm going to list them here because there's a lot of types of batteries different technologies uh, the most dangerous situations to keep in mind is when it's uh, battery is overcharged or is excessively discharged okay it works uh, both uh, both ways let's say when a non rechargeable battery uh, is charged that that can lead to hazards uh, also um, recharging a rechargeable battery uh, with re reverse polarity that can lead to uh, serious hazards and this is not a long not the full list of course there's a lot of others but all of these need to be addressed through various types of uh, safeguards, um, circuit, circuit protection, and so on. Okay, and uh, the protection circuit, okay, might be in the battery management system, usually in the battery pack. It might be in the product. So, for example, the smartphone itself might have a uh, battery protection circuit. Okay, sometimes even at the cell level. Okay, or in, in several of them, right? So need, you need to look at the design of the, of the whole, of the, the product and the pack and the cell, right? Not, not just in isolation. And finally, the safeguards, and this standard um, has a long list of safeguards for, for, for batteries in various situations. They have to be effective, not just in normal situations, but also in abnormal situations, fault conditions, and for example if a product is transported and so on there are some specific safeguards so there's an entire annex annex m in the standard that covers equipment that contains batteries okay again this standard is not about the safety of batteries as i mentioned earlier 
there are uh, some specific standard just for the batteries, right? So this is about the, the, the devices that include a battery, all right? And you can see, I'm not gonna go through everything because it would take a long time. You have M1, which is general requirement, uh, M2, okay, of the safety of the batteries and their cells. Uh, and then you, 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 it goes into various uh, topics, right? The protection circuits, okay? Additional safeguards, when there's a lithium battery, all right? And I already mentioned uh, when there's um, a lithium battery, there has to be a fire enclosure uh, with non-combustible material, etc., etc. Burn due to short circuit during carrying, so they, they cover that. Uh, safeguards against short circuits. Risk of explosion from lead acid batteries and NICD batteries. Uh, in internal ignition from external spark sources of rechargeable batteries of, with aqueous uh, electrolyte it is a very specific risk that they need to cover, preventing the spillage of electrolyte, and also how to think of um, forcible misuse such as putting the battery back into the battery charger with reverse polarity, for example, Okay, and, and, and how to prevent that. And finally, there's a special case about the coin cell batteries. Very small, if they can be removed, if they can be accessed by children, and they are uh, 32 millimeter or less in diameter, this is a serious hazard. They can be ingested, uh, and they can uh, lead to a little case very, very fast. Okay, so there needs to be instructions, and also it should be, let's say, not very easy for kids to, to remove. These are the key safeguards in this case. And that's it. I hope this is useful. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.